This is the Storyteller Show and today we are going to listen to a story of a girl whose name was Inga and who was very, very lazy and she hated working. She did not like to work at all. She always sat with her hands on her lap. She never helped her mother, she never helped her father, nor her brother, nor her sister while they swept, swapped, cooked and made a lot of things clean and tidy. She sat hands on her lap. Now this can't go on for too long, can it? So one day, it was the holiday time and she went to her cousin's house for the holiday. There were a lot of cousins and she had her own room and all the cousins were all cleaning up, tidying up, cleaning their shelves and reading the books and putting them back in their places but not Inga. Inga sat hands on her lap. Her room was getting very messy, dirty, filthy, the books scattered everywhere and dust and the smell. But Inga just sat hands on her lap. Would you do that? Oh my God! What would she do? Now, Inga was also not too happy. What would she do? And suddenly, that night, there was a godfather. And the godfather said, Inga! I know how you are feeling. <laughs> he snapped his fingers. He clapped. And a magic. There were five little froggies which appeared and they sat on Inga's fingers. Then what happened? Suddenly her hands began to itch and it began to move and she could feel the movement. Oh my God, this is wonderful. My fingers are moving, my fingers are moving. And now these five magicians also got into her right hand. She could now move all her ten fingers. Inga was so happy. Her thumbs, her pointer finger, middle finger, the ring finger and the tiny finger. Oh! She felt so wonderful. It was lovely. She could move all her fingers. Here is Thumbkin. Here is Thumbkin. Who are you? Who are you? How are you today, sir? Very well and thank you. Run and hide. Run and hide. There was Pointer. There was middle finger, there was ring finger and the tiny little finger. So all the fingers wished each other and they got together and they did a lot of work. They swept, they swabbed, they cleaned and they made Inga so happy. She had a big smile on her face and Inga no longer sat hands on her lap. That was a story also from Sweden. It is a folk tale, but it applies to all of us, doesn't it?